Jennifer. Welcome back to Busy Being Jen. Um, I'm here to do a different kind of video. This is not, the title says revitalizing your, your beauty routine, but this is really um, revitalizing your routine after you've been through like, maybe a really difficult time in your life for a long period of time and you sort of have gotten out of the swing of things. Um, let me just give you some brief information before I start my, my list of suggestions here. Um, I just came off of a long period of time with two um, parents, my dad and my mother-in-law, who both passed away. My dad passed away in March 2018. My mother-in-law passed away in April of 2018. Um, my dad had a long, really an 11-year decline with um, Parkinson's, with Lewy body dementia, and my mother-in-law passed away of ovarian cancer. So my dad's disease got really bad for the last four years, and the last two were just really bad. Um, and my mother-in-law's, she fought cancer for a year and a half, but um, the end came quickly. We thought it was gone, and then it came back, and then they gave her six months to live, and she lived seven weeks, and, you know, so that was all, you know, happened pretty fast. But I just remember that after we um, had my mother-in-law's memorial service in June, that one morning I was just looking at myself in the mirror and I thought, what in the world has happened to you? I mean, I just looked at my face and myself and I just thought, you have aged. <laughs> and um, you know, when there's a really difficult, stressful, sad time, it can just do that. It takes a toll on you. And for different reasons, sometimes it's that you've sort of let yourself go. I know that in certain ways I did that with myself. Um, sometimes it's just stress, you know, it just takes a toll on your body. And so I made a decision in June to start to do some things to kind of revitalize my appearance and my, and myself. Part of, part of what made me look older, I think, was that I had put on some weight, just got into eating comfort food, and not really thinking about doing healthy things for myself because I just wanted stuff that was quick and easy and um, didn't want to even think about cooking or whatever. And so part of it was that, that I needed to get on track, but part, part of it was doing some things to kind of bring back into my beauty routine to kind of get things back on track. And so this is going to be different for everybody, but I thought maybe if you've been through a difficult time with a loved one who was dying, or maybe you've been through a divorce or some other kind of really um, traumatic thing, um, maybe some of these suggestions will help you. So I want to start out by saying, that it's so important. And if you're watching this and you're in the middle of a really stressful time, I mean, really, sometimes just thinking about all these things I'm suggesting, you're gonna be so overwhelmed by it and say, I can never do this. Well, I couldn't either. I mean, it was enough for me to just get up and make the bed. <laughs> that didn't even happen most of the time. I had to like put a note to myself, put on makeup, because you know, when you're when you're depressed and you have things like that going on, you just it's really hard just to just to do the normal things that you do when you've got all this other stuff going on. So I just say that what if, if you're currently in that stressful time or if you've just come off of that, three things that are so important. Hydrate yourself. Drink eight glasses of water a day. Uh, if you don't like drinking water, add a little bit of fruit juice to it or something to make it taste a little better, but hydrate yourself. Another thing you should do is focus on your nutrition. Make sure that, um, I'm not saying go on this big comprehensive diet um, kind of a thing, but just start adding some healthy foods back into your diet. Start eating some fruits and vegetables. Um, you'll get more energy. After a couple of weeks, you'll start to notice that you have energy. And the other thing is get out the door and just move. So I'm not saying start a big walking routine or go walk five miles or anything like that, but even if it's just walking around the block, getting yourself out into the sun, or even if it's the winter and you just get yourself out into fresh air and just move your body, those are three things that you really need to do. Those are very important things to do, whether you're coming off of a really stressful time or whether you're currently in it. So as far as the things I decided to do, and I would love to hear your suggestions in the comments below if you have some ideas for things too. 
and maybe I did some things and forgot to mention them, but but the first thing I decided to do was to kind of um, do some stuff to revitalize my skin. I had not neglected my skin care during this time. I still washed my makeup off at night and put on moisturizer and, you know, put on moisturizer in the day and stuff like that. But um, I had left some of, I had more things in my, in my skincare routine that I had gotten away from. So the first thing that I added back in was Retin-A. I had, uh, you know, a tube of Tretinoin is the, um, is the generic name for it. Started to use that at night. Now it had been a while since I had used it. And so I went back to only using it a couple times a week and then started increasing that because it can make your skin really sensitive. Um, even if you've used it in the past and have gotten away from it, just make sure you ease back into it. That you use at night. And you want to make sure that um, you're also using an SPF during the day because it starts to it helps you slough off layers of skin. And so you want to make sure that you have skin protection. You should use skin protection even if you're not using Retin-A. But anyway, I started to use that at night. And oh, and if you don't, if it, retino, retinoin. Retin-A or Tretinoin is actually kind of pricey and so if you don't want to use that, even just some kind of a, a scrub, a gentle scrub for your skin is a good idea. And then in the mornings, I was started to use my vitamin C serum again, which I had gotten away from. Vitamin C serum is typically not very expensive and you can even make your own. And um, I'm going to put a, a recipe, a link to a recipe in the space below where you can see what I use and it just... It just involves um, distilled water and vitamin C powder that you can get at Sprouts or Whole Foods. Um, you can add, some people add vegetable glycerin, some people put hyaluronic acid in it. You can do that too if you want to. Uh, but you can get the, a big old bottle of vitamin C powder that last you forever. And so anyway, um, I just, I mix that up and I start, I put that on after I wash my face in the morning and before I put on my moisturizer and all of that kind of stuff just put it on my face and and that is another kind of an exfoliator it's much lighter much less uh, aggressive than uh, retin-a so that was I thought okay I can perk up my skin by doing that um, another thing I started to do and um, is that <clears throat> I I would use a face mask of some kind and I like to I like to take baths occasionally and in the summer it's not so exciting to take a bath because you know usually you think of a bath as something that's like a you know warm cozy treat kind of a thing but you can you know make the water less hot and and do that kind of thing but I, I like to put on a sheet mask and just kind of sit back and relax um, while I'm taking a bath you don't have to do the bath part of it but I like to do that and I think it's important to just kind of help yourself relax too in this whole process pamper yourself a little bit and so I would use occasionally I would use a, a face mask or an eye mask like this one that I got from Ulta it's um, by Yes2 and uh, it's called an energizing coffee super eye mask and I really like this it kind of gives you a tingly feeling around your eyes it goes all the way around like this you it makes you look like a superhero I mean it literally does they have these funny little things on the edges and stuff you wear it for about 10 minutes and um, you know if you've got puffiness or dark circles it helps with that so an eye mask is really nice because that was another thing I noticed was that my eyes were really puffy underneath and above I mean they're still a little puffy but um, so that helps now some things that will kind of perk you up um, from the outside. Um, I started to add a little bit of highlighter cream in my foundation. And I'll, I'll link some stuff in the space below that I've used. But I just would put my foundation in, my, in the palm of my hand, put in a little bit of highlighter cream, and then mix it together and put it on my face. That just kind of gives a nice little glow. And so it can take skin that has kind of gotten dull or whatever and just perk it up a little bit um, appearance wise so that was helpful um, also oh another thing I did is I felt like my hair sort of took a toll in in this whole thing too that it just didn't look very shiny and um, it was just kind of 
like frizzing really easily. And so I got a hair mask that is that I got at Walmart and it's a thermal hair mask. The one I got is um, Lindsay Home Aesthetics is the company and it's called Home Spa Hair Treatment. And this kind of, this thing has a, the package has two sections. The top part has the the conditioning cream and the bottom part has this kind of foil like uh, cap. And so you put all this conditioner in and um, put it all in there, put your hair up on top of your head, put this cap over it. It's got a little um, adhesive thing on the side that you can cinch it up so it's nice and tight. Um, you put this on after you wash your hair, wash your hair with shampoo, kind of squeeze out the extra water, put the conditioner on in the cap, get out of the shower because you're supposed to leave it in your hair for 30 minutes. If you want, you can take a bath and you know put on your sheet mask too at the same time while you wait. Um, but you can just get out of the shower. And then after 30 minutes, you rinse it off really well. And I'm telling you what, I mean, immediately I noticed the difference. My hair was so silky, not frizzy. Shine was back. And so I started to use one of those once a week. I think I mentioned that I found mine at Walmart. They have three different kinds. I believe I bought the one that was for color treated hair and they're not that expensive, like five or six bucks or something like that. Really not very expensive. Really worth a try. And that made a huge difference in the look of my hair. Um, some other little things that I did, I started to put on, I mean, it was summer for me, it was June. So I started to put on self tanner and not just a, you know, like, drastically dark so if you're if it's not summer for you but you want to kind of perk up your skin um, I just got that Jurgens uh, glow stuff and it makes a gradual tan just to bring you know just to bring a little bit of tint to your skin I did that to kind of perk up my skin and what else um, oh another thing I recommend is just like put on a, a bright lipstick not like fire engine red or anything like that, but just something kind of pretty and perky. It, it does wonders for just making your overall appearance look good. Oh, one thing I forgot, uh, I forgot to mention is putting some kind of a, a highlighter powder or something under your eyes. Cause I kept noticing that I still had like these puffy, puffy eyes. And so I just have a powder that I was able to swipe under there that just gave a little bit of a shimmer slightly under my eyes. You can, there's, I mean, there's different kinds. I'll list some things in the space below, but that kind of helped too. Um, now, since I have been eating better and I've been back into walking and I've been drinking my water and I've been using my Retin-A and um, my vitamin C serum, those things that really affect the body, um, I've noticed big changes in my skin and my overall appearance. And so some of these other things are just sort of to get you through the times when you're looking at yourself going, what happened to me? Um, so anyway, but I want to mention one other thing. Sometimes I found for myself that when I was getting myself back into life, that I sort of um, for, forgot myself. Um, you know, you, you spend your time caring for somebody who's ill or focusing on whatever the, the hard thing is that you're going through. And other things in your life that brought you joy before just kind of go by the wayside. They have to, there's not enough room. And so I was not my father's primary caregiver, but I was a major part of the decision making and I was seeing him a lot and um, watching his decline and I um, I really did. I forgot. I, I got away from doing YouTube videos, which I had been posting like three vid videos a week for a couple of years, and I have hardly posted any on this channel in the last couple of years. Um, I got away from doing that, which I loved. I got away from doing just a lot of things. I sort of lost my love for cooking and and uh, and lost my love for walking, and all, you know, all this kind of stuff goes by the wayside. And as I was getting myself back into life, I actually asked myself, like, what is it that I used to do? <laughs> I, I mean, really, those of you who've been through a tough time know exactly what I'm talking about. 
So I actually, I mean, fortunately for me, I have a YouTube channel, I have a couple of YouTube channels, and I was actually able to go back to 2016 and start looking through and seeing some things that I did and, and remind myself, um, but to think through some of the stuff that you, you know, that you, that brought you joy in the past and make a list of those things and start, start pushing yourself to do some of those things again. Another thing is I actually forgot some of the things I did in my beauty routine. Like I forgot, I, I went back to look at, you can do this with photo albums and you know, a, a vacation from a happier time or whatever. And just, you know, look at how you did your hair or look, I, I remember looking at a video and going, oh, I did used to do that with my eyeshadow. <laughs> and I just totally gotten away from it because I was simplifying everything. And so um, I just think it's important to remind yourself who you are when you have given up so much of yourself for for someone else for good reason i wouldn't trade any of the time that i spent with my dad and with my mother-in-law mostly um with my dad over all those years i wouldn't trade any of that but i left a lot of myself behind and so um if you're feeling that way and you're feeling like you're just kind of in a funk and don't know how to get yourself back to how you felt before Try to just remember the stuff that brought you joy before and not just to get back into doing everything all at once because that creates more pressure, but how to, you know, just choosing one little thing. Oh man, I loved that recipe I used to make. I'm going to make that this week. Or, oh yeah, I really, I used to love walking. I'm just going to get out the door a couple days a week for 10 minutes and just start, you know, start remembering some of those things and doing some of those things. I don't know if this video was helpful to you, but um, I just know that this was has been a, a real struggle for me and something that I've really been um, pouring myself into for the last few months and it's made a difference for me and hopefully it's helpful for you. Anyway, if you are not a subscriber to Busy Being Jen, I'd love to have you follow along and so I'd encourage you to hit that button right there and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which used to be like three times a week and I'm hoping to get back to that. So I actually have a schedule of, of videos I'm gonna do. So hopefully I will be getting into doing them much more frequently and I'd love to have you follow along. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.